How are you today? Today is week three Ugh. of the movie marquee challenge that I am doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather. Um, I have to be honest, you guys. I haven't got a lot done because of all the stuff that's been going on this week. We won't talk about that. <sighs> Um, so, yeah, I haven't got a lot done, but I'm hoping to work on this all, you know, I have to work for the next few days I got today off, but I'm going to try and work on it. I got to get it done. <sighs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below. Uh, basically Heather and I, we're doing this year long collab where every month, um, at the beginning of the year in December, we, cho no, yeah, December, we chose six movies each and every month we alternate months and we choose a movie and take the colors out of the movie poster and make a project. So this month, what is this month's movie? Oh, The Hobbit. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, my brain hurts. Um, so that was Heather's pick for the month. And I am making a cardigan. I hope. <laughs> um, I just have to do the arms and the, you know, like I've only got a little bit left to do. So get with it, Sandy. <laughs> um, okay. So the yarns that I am using is the new loops and threads impressions i think this is a new yarn and this i don't have my glasses um it's olive pretty accurate and then i am using mainstay sparkle acrylic Look at the sparkle. And this is taupe, I believe. I'm going to pretend I can read that and it says taupe. <laughs> and then I'm using, oh, don't, don't pull out all my stitches. Granat Premium in black. Okay. Uh, this, oops. <clears throat> I've got the body of the sweater finished. I think I showed this on my last video. So I've got the body done. I've got the two panels sewn up. And there you go. So those are done. That's done. So now I'm just working on the sleeves and the collar and then that's it I should have gotten more done than I should have already had the sleeves finished but you know <clears throat> um so I made the decision in all of my bloody wisdom that's just really not wisdom at all to do the sleeves in black I wasn't going to do the changing colors. I was just going to do the black arms because I figured then it would make the, the panels pop. Um, not sure if that was such a great decision because I'm sticking with the same pattern as in the sweater and you can't even see it in the sleeve. Huh? So here's part of the sleeve. <laughs> So I'm doing the sleeve this way. This is something else I've never really done is I've done this. I'm doing the sleeve this way, right? So you make it go around and then, and then you sew it on the flat panel, which I'll show you when it comes time to that, doing that. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't know if you can see, I decided to do the back loop on one row on one of the rows and then I'm doing the um, cluster stitch as well. But 
I mean, you can kind of see it. <laughs> I mean, when you're wearing it, yeah, I don't even know. I thought at the time it was a good idea, but uh, maybe not. But whatever, it is what it is. I really didn't, I, I mean, there was a couple reasons why I did it this way. I didn't want to muck with trying to change colors. I just wanted to get it finished because I've got so much going on right now that I didn't want to have to think. Um, and the other was because I really thought that it would complement the rest of the sweater. Yeah. So that's how much I've got done on the first sleeve. And that's it. <sighs> I feel like I'm failing at this challenge and that I'm letting, you know, letting uh, Heather down. I still haven't got the sweater done um, from the other month's challenge. You know, like I just, oh, it's been a, it's, yeah. It's been a year, you guys. It's been a year. Like, it's it's crazy. So, that's all I got. Sorry. Um, Heather's blanket. OMG. Oh, this blanket is... It just gives me goosebumps thinking about this blanket. She has done a fantastic job on this. This sweat... This sweater... This blanket tops them all, I think, in my opinion. The creativity of this blanket, just mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Um, she did, I know I, I, I brag about her every month because she deserves it. She puts a lot of work into her blankets and she just thinks so outside the box. Like, I never would have thought of something like that. Never. Uh, and it, it's, you gotta, you gotta go and check it out. Her link is down below. Her link will be down below for the rest of the year. Um, yeah. Unreal. Unreal. I'll be sad to see this, uh, this challenge go in December. December will be our last month for the challenge. Um, it's been a long haul. It's, you know, doing like committing to one project a month to last the whole month has been a challenge in itself. Um, but it's been a fun challenge. It has taken us outside of our boxes and um, really got us to think about what projects we're doing. Think about the colors, putting colors together that we never would have thought to put together before. Um, it, it's been a journey. It's been a really interesting journey. Uh, I'm assuming that she is going to be putting together a mon montage. Is that what it's called? Of all the blankets that she's done throughout the year for this challenge. I unfortunately can't do that um, because a lot of the projects that I made are going to be going to the craft fairs this year and being sold. Here's hoping. Um, I'll see if I can maybe take. Nah, I can't even take clips. But anyways, um, yeah. So, uh, but if you want to see what I've done in the past for this challenge, go to the link down below. I've got a playlist with all of her stuff and all of my stuff in it. And so you can go and check that out. It's been a it's been a fun ride. It really has. So stay tuned for the next couple of months. <sighs> oh, I just realized something. Oh, I got yeah. Anyways, that's for something else. <laughs> I got too much going on. Okay, guys. So I love you all. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.